Let's pick up on some of those points from Achana now with Agnishwar Jaya Prakash, founder and CEO of Garuda Aerospace, an Indian drone company, a pretty successful one. Thanks so much for, for joining us. Give us an idea of how your business is doing at the moment and your view of the Indian economy. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, well, Garuda Aerospace is currently the most valuable Indian drone startup, uh, and we're thriving right now because uh, there has been a lot of progressive government policies, uh, especially to uh, um, uh, encourage a lot of uh, people from getting loans for drones. There's also 50 to 70 percent uh, government subsidies. They've also liberalized uh, drone laws in India. Mm. So uh, it also um, uh, gives a lot of encouragement to making India drone startups to start manufacturing. So it increases a lot of job opportunities for youngsters. As you know, India is, of course, uh, tackling inflation and price rises and unemployment. And now with the impetus on the drone segment, this is great times to be in the drone sector because it's advanced uh, emerging technology. It's actually disrupting major uh, multi-billion dollar sectors like agriculture, defense, industry 4.0, mining, and... Uh, well, can I pick up um, on that with you? Because, you know, India is a country, we've seen a huge software industry develop, haven't we, in Bangalore, hardware in Chennai. Tech is such yes. a crucial part of it. When we're looking at things like drones, is, is that going to be an important part in bridging the gap between urban and rural India? Absolutely, because uh, what happened after the COVID pandemic is there was a forcible adoption of drone technology in variety of sectors that I mentioned, especially in uh, rural India, where uh, the access to such technology was redundant and it was very hard uh, to access such technologies in the past. But now, uh, after COVID, a lot of dependency on drones for uh, medicine delivery, for precision agricultural spraying. Uh, very recently, uh, our drones received both uh, the type certification as well as a training certificate from the DGCA which enables us to manufacture these drones. And we have a very uh, aggressive target of manufacturing about 25,000 drones and impacting a $3 billion uh, precision agricultural market in India. Can I ask you, give us an idea. You, you, you sound very positive about your company's development and your country's development as well. How much have you grown in the last few years? What sort of growth rates are we seeing? And, 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 and are those similar growth rates that we're seeing within other companies in the tech sector? Well, uh, uh, Garuda Aerospace uh, was founded in 2015, and last year we clocked about $2 million. We are on track to clock about $20 million. That's a 10x in terms of revenue. We're also profitable. Uh, we had an EBITDA margins of about 24%. So this is great because we're also receiving a lot of investment into the drone sector from the Western world. Uh, we believe that emerging technology and automation has uh, a great potential to grow. And I think the very similar technologies like uh, uh, fintech, edtech has always mm. been uh, key areas, especially with India having such a large youth population. Uh, we believe that uh, even though there's going to be some economic struggles, uh, I believe that uh, startups is uh, s uh, still a very, very uh, lucrative market for the Indian uh, ecosystem. Okay, briefly, if you could, what are the challenges you're facing? I lived in India for a long time. It can be difficult to get things done. There's a lot of bureaucracy sometimes. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the hardest thing to do is to get buy-in from a lot of uh, government stakeholders. But, uh, you know, India is one of the largest democracies in the world, and you have uh, one of the largest populations in the world as well. So the biggest challenge is to get uh, all of these guys on one table and agree upon policy decisions. But apart from that, once that is done, it's always a, a very easy road because India has such a large population to immediately absorb any technology, uh, and especially when it comes to Jones, we have had immense success um, uh, with uh, disrupting multi-billion dollar sectors. And I believe that that will uh, stay the course for the next three to four years. And Garuda Aerospace is primed to become the first ever drone unicorn startup in India. Well, we shall follow your path towards becoming that drone unicorn. Thank you so much, Agnishwa, for joining us here on World Business.